Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Statesman Stonders. Welcome. And welcome to Loch Meady. The uh, sun is going down behind me. And I'm here currently by myself. Watching the birds all afternoon. A loch. And not a cloud in the sky. How did that happen? Anyway, the, uh, the sun is setting. I'll give you a quick look round, just in case the weather's not as good tomorrow. <laughs> that is Ben Klebrek. And down in the valley is Old Mahara. It is so unusual to see all of Klebrek in one go. It's uh, normally got some cloud colour. And this is the lower end of Loch Meady. That, by the way, just disappearing towards the right hand side. It's Ben Hope. Uh, it's a lovely evening. I say evening, it's uh, it should be about half past eight. I think I might be stopping up late and doing some stargazing tonight. I've got uh, my aerials up already, and I've not switched the radios on yet. There's no two meters. Uh, repeaters or anything around here, anything on that line will be direct. But uh, virtually noise free as far as HF goes, and we'll try that later. And meanwhile, I'm going to leave the sun to go down by itself, and we'll uh, we'll get back inside. Although it's not cold, it's just I'm feeling the need for a cup of tea.
Lochmeady, Sutherland is one of those out of the way spots. A loch some four miles long just north of the narrow road from Altenhara to Hope Lodge. It's known to anglers with several boats on the shore but otherwise is a long way off the normal tourist trail. The loch sits amid many square miles of gently rolling deer grass, rush and heather backed by the higher peaks of Ben Hope, Ben Royal and Ben He. Apart from a few pockets of forestry plantation it's a treeless empty landscape with the autumn roars of rutting stags drifting from hilltop to hilltop across the vast orange tinted moors. The loch though boasts some half dozen tiny wooded islands each a microcosm of the landscape it would as it would have once been prior to burning and overgrazing of sheep and deer during the past centuries. The southern end of the loch is quite wide but mostly it's long and narrow with no roads or paths along either shore except for an estate track leading to the far end from the Kyle of Tom. And here we are at the Scottish National Chair Erection Championships. <laughs> to be fair, this is the first time for Angie trying this chair. And to be fair, it was relatively simple. Easy to get in the bag. Now here's Lindsay with the this chair doesn't want to go up method. Brute force and ignorance seems to have won over. It doesn't look it, not from here. It is, it is very comfortable. And look, I've even got space to put my drink and my snack. Mine haven't got um, cobwebs in. That's uh, Tyson, and the chocolate lab is Bramble. That's That's and that is exactly where we were yesterday. Loch Meady. We're still at Loch Meady. Very different day, the clouds are out, or the sun is trying to break through. We, uh, we've grown a bit since we last filmed. We've got uh, Pamela and her dogs, and Angie and her dogs. We'll spin you around, show the outfits, and probably destroy the evidence. It's a little bit windier today. again and as we come round and uh, the vehicles and in the background Klebrek no we're not there yet Klebrek in the background is almost completely covered in cloud certainly at the top and mist and three at the bottom. Let's go down to the water. 
the loch itself. Nice ripple. Not seen many fish, but it is early for up here and it's cold. However, for anybody wanting to fish, the fish are there and takeable, very takeable. But you've got to know what you're doing. Lindsay and Angie at least have gone off for a walk. I don't know about Pam, I can't see her. She could be in the back of her vehicle or she could have gone for a walk. Me, videoing near the vehicles. And I think, I just think, I might have another shot on the radios. Listen to the news this morning and got the Elgin broadcast uh, from here on VHF, which is just amazing. Uh, but uh, GM4RS, Ron, makes a trip from there. And I can hear him. Uh, he drops the power, so, and I'm not sure he would hear my 50 watts. Um, but he drops the power to below 100, and I can barely hear him. And he's got a good aerial setup. But uh, next time we're in the area, I'll give him a call. Lindsay and I are not here alone this weekend. This is Tyson and Bramble and we appear to have broken a couple of dogs. With us as well are Angie who is the uh, person rumoured to be in control of the dogs and uh, Pamela. Both have channels so I shall link them below and a great weekend was had by us and the dogs although I suspect Ted and Lolly might differ on that as Bramble and Tyson are a bit rumboxious let's put it that way but we had a great time and Lochmede wasn't finished with us as yet coming along a little surprise.
Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. And whatever you're doing in the countryside, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our future videos.